This is how I lost. Then won the fight against COVID-19. After battling for eight months, I lost. I failed to protect my family from the novel coronavirus. I knew even how careful I was, one way or another, COVID will sneak up on me. And it did. Somewhere down the line, I knew I will make a mistake. And I did. But I was preparing for this for the last eight months. No disrespect for the people who lost their lives and got severe setbacks in their health in this pandemic. But my family and I got through it remarkably well, including my six-year-old. We just suffered for just two days with mild symptoms. But we fought it out of our system remarkably well. Just one night of fever, two days of mild fatigue in my upper back, that's about it. I'm through. My wife, she did better than me. And my son, just one day of fever, he kicked it in no time. I'm impressed, but not surprised, because we've been doing the right thing for so long. Okay, first, let's make one thing clear. As humans, we might be one species, but genetically, we are diverse. About 1 in 1000 DNA base pairs. Approximately, we have 3 billion base pairs of DNA. Genetics, lifestyle, habits, and age plays a vital role when it comes to natural being immune to a virus. Someone might be in peak health condition with a healthy lifestyle, but still, he can get hit hard by the COVID-19. And someone can be unhealthy and overweight, but still make it through COVID-19 without severe beating. Coronavirus attacks the lungs, but a smoker can get through it with the right genetics. So you can't compare yourself to another person and jump to a conclusion. Till you get it, you don't know how coronavirus is going to affect you. With all this consideration, I didn't want to take a chance. I didn't know whether it helped or I was genetically equipped with the right tools. But these are the things I did for last 8 months religiously. I supplemented myself with vitamin D, vitamin C and multivitamins in alternative days. Even when we are taken to the government health facility for the mandatory COVID-19 assessment, they gave us vitamin C, zinc and paracetamol. It seems like I was ahead of the game. I believe it's better to improve your immune system before than after. Just imagine, once the virus gets inside you, the immune system's already weakened. Then you give the weapons to fight. By that time, damage has been done. But if you already equip the cells with the weapons, it can start the fight as the virus enters the body. Okay, back to my regime. I exercised 5 days a week. This was a lifestyle for me for so many years. So it helped and I reduced smoking. For last 8 months, I would have smoked maximum 10 cigarettes. I practiced intermittent fasting while consuming healthy food and hydrated myself as per the requirement. But I couldn't manage work stress and sleep. This is a very important part for a healthy immune system. I extensively talked about supplement, exercise and fasting in my previous videos. You can check out the videos in the links below. Coronavirus It's not deadly, it's just famous. Just by being healthy and clean, we can beat coronavirus. This virus able to spread this far because overall our immune systems are weak because our modern lifestyle. Being overweight, constantly relying on medicines and having a bulging stomach considered normal. In developed countries, poor people are overweight. In non-developed countries, rich people are overweight. Just take a second and think about that. It's a tripling of the number of people who are considered overweight and obese in the developing world since 1980. That takes the numbers to more than 900 million. And that's more than the number of overweight and obese people that we have in the high income countries, which is probably around 570 million, something like that. So it's a very rapidly emerging problem and it's now of a very large size. Since I'm talking about COVID-19, I have to address this. There are a lot of cases that COVID-19 vaccine gone wrong. Only about 1 in 90,000 people on average will experience a bad reaction. As I said before, according to our genetics, lifestyle, habit and health condition, an age response to the vaccine can differ. It will take 
two weeks to one month achieve immunity after vaccination. That means vaccination won't be an immediate effect. So don't put your guard down with precautionary measures. Always wear your mask, keep washing your hands, stay clean. Even after 14 days you contracted the virus, the virus can be still in your body. But the only thing is, it's not good at its job. I mean it's useless, it cannot spread. The best way to get rid of this is steaming and breathing exercises. The sinus area is the last refuges for this virus. Once you recover from COVID-19, the immunity can last for 8 months. Then again, it can differ to person to person according to their age, health and habits and lifestyle. All men are created equal, but we fail to maintain it. Who's to blame? Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, you know what to do. Subscribe and share among your friends. Signing off, this is Z.